Hello? Oh well, everyone knows how sensitive wireless products are. But thanks to the development of electronics, constant progress is being made. Hello? Oh, there you are! At the Department of Electrical and Information Technology, we have several really exciting research areas. One of those is electronics, my area. Or more specifically, the design of integrated circuits, or what we daily refer to as microchips. When I designed my first integrated circuit during the second half of the 80s, as a student, the transistor dimensions we used were three micrometers. Today, when we fabricate circuits, they are 28 nanometers. That is that the transistor dimensions has been reduced by a factor 100, with a corresponding decrease in power consumption and increase in speed. The integrated circuits are designed in the computer. After that, they are sent away for fabrications, which takes a couple of months. And after they return, we measure them in our research lab. The development of integrated circuits can also be exemplified by the development of mobile phones. When I designed my first integrated circuits, Ericsson launched their Harry Hotline campaign. In those days, mobile phones were purely analog. All we could do was talk, and there was no data transmission at all. What has made those accomplishments possible is the development of electronics and in-system design. Today, we have electronics everywhere around us and even inside us. This can be exemplified by, for instance, the pacemaker, which was a Swedish invention, or we have also have capsule endoscopy, where we swallow a pill that goes through our body and takes images which are transmitted wirelessly to the outside. At the department, we have or are trying to create new research projects within those two areas. The bulk of the research at the department mainly deals with some form of communication, mainly wireless communication. In this area, I'm also heading a research center or an industrial research center where we, together with our partners, try to develop the technologies of tomorrow. As a department, we have research areas spanning from the antenna, how do we design smart and good antennas? How do we understand the radio channel? How do we develop algorithms to transmit data over those radio channels? An exciting research project that is about to finish is called Wireless Communication for Ultra-Portable Devices, where we look at medical applications like pacemakers and hearing aids. Within this project, six PhD students from different areas has worked together to develop a completely new solution, which extremely low power consumption, which will increase battery life of such devices.